Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts, here to tell you one main thing. If you wonder what God is like, let me tell you from my own experience. God has smiled on me. He has set me free. God has smiled on me. He's been good to me. I have come from a very empty, useless, uh, desolate beginning. And God took a nobody and showered his love on me. He took notice of me because he had a purpose for my life. And he chose to endow me with his love. He chose to fill me with the light of his countenance and fill me with his joy. He chose to give me his peace. And I am not here to preach to you about why you need to be a Christian. I am here to tell you firsthand that God is a good God. That God is very good to us. He's not playing tiddlywinks. He's not playing sight games. He's not manipulating, using us or abusing us. God is a very good God. God is a very present help in the time of trouble. God is love. He's all the love you need. He's all the love I ever needed. He is fulfillment. He is gratification. He is pure satisfaction. God is good. Now, that may not be a long uh, astounding message to you that may not be earth shaking okay but I tell you one thing he shook my world he moved me from, from the inner core of my very being and took something and made something beautiful out of my life he took an ugly thing an ugly duckling and made something beautiful out of my life starting from within, deep within you guys. I no longer live with turmoil. I no longer feel ashamed of who I am as a person. I no longer am embarrassed or insecure or self-conscious in public about my looks, my weight, my age, my nothing. I am so, so healed, so blessed by God's loving touch. When God touches you, he encourages you. When God touches you, he fills you with a newfound light. He makes you feel alive for the first time in your life. When God touches you, you no longer live in sorrow, regret, and depression. Let God touch you. Stop playing uh, cat and mouse with him. Stop playing games. Let him really get a hold of you. I remember that old love song, you really got a hold on me. Yeah, but let God really get a hold on you because you will see it makes such a difference in who you are and who you become. And some of that old poison and all that, all that old muck and the old uh, regrets and the, the, the mistakes, the sins, the poor judgment calls, the lousy decisions, the, oh my goodness, the list can go on ad infinitum, but guess what? That list can be erased. And whatever is there that is useful, God will use as he uses you. He will use to his glory, not to your shame. God bless you. I hope and pray that one day you will really take God seriously and let him really get a hold of you. Don't date him anymore. Marry him.